Welcome to BLF TV. Today we're gonna cook Jamaican curry chicken. Boss lady Fiona, who that knocking at the window? Hey, two pata knocks on your bingo. You know the style, boss lady Fiona. Okay, so guys, these are my ingredients I'm gonna use to season my chicken to prepare curry chicken. All right, I don't use the curry in my season up. I use it when I'm gonna cook it okay all right so this is the first process of seasoning okay and these are my ingredients over here all right so just to name out a few of the things I'm gonna use and I have two um, two pound of cut up chicken right there already clean all right and this I have one teaspoon of garlic, one teaspoon of chicken season, half teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of chicken season, one teaspoon of onion powder, and one teaspoon of all purpose. Okay, and these are my natural ingredients, which is um, bell pepper, red, green, and yellow. And I have also onion thyme hot pepper garlic and green onion which is kellyan so all of these i'm gonna put in my chicken i have my pepper let me drop it over there i have some garlic chop onion chop skellion which is green onion and red green and yellow um bell pepper which is sweet pepper we would say in jamaica all right massage everything make sure evenly massage guys and this I'm gonna leave it you could leave it for at least two hours to get um the result of a nice dish or you could leave it overnight you get even a better result in taste all right so I'm gonna leave this, make it marinate, guys. Um, I'm gonna double wrap it. Really. All right, so first thing first, you have to hot your pot, of course. My pot is preheated right now. So I'm gonna add, this is two tablespoons of oil. And this is the curry that I'll be using. Better pop curry. This is the curry I'll be using. Alright. Okay. Alright. So. This is one teaspoon, guys. Then I add one teaspoon. Let me see, one and a half, all right. So this is one and a half teaspoon. Now we're gonna burn the curry by stirring it in the aisle. Don't want to edge no one teeth, so. All right, and this is our chicken that has been pre-seasoned. This is what your curry should look like before you add it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add your chicken. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken. You could just, you could add it with the season and everything. All right. Here. Want to ensure everything has the curry on it.
So get a close up look as to how the curry. Let me show you. Let me show you everything have curry all over. You see that? Alright, so everything supposed to have curry all over. Alright. What I do before I don't close my pot same time I saw I kind of stir it stir it around just to burn my chicken a little bit right you're not gonna burn it but just keep you stir everything have its curry on it right here right so you see everything have curry on it right now all the chicken has this curry on it so I'm going to just cover my pot and let it spring its own water, right? So we, you will see the process as we go along. All right, so you're not going to add any water at this moment. I'm going to come back and show you what it's like after we close the pot. It's going to spring its own water, okay? Okay, guys, this part. Oh, huh. all right. So, leave it, and you don't need to go too far. Just leave it, and you have it at medium heat, and let it spring its own water. And then, when it spring its own water, you're gonna come and stir it. I'll show you occasionally as we go along. So this is like after two minutes, guys. Look at that. I want to show you. You see, it springs its own water. Look at that. The chicken spring in its own water, alright? So what I'll do, I'll just turn it. So what's in the bottom comes to the top. Just like that. And leave it if it continue to spring more water by itself, okay? So after 10 minutes, guys, I'm going to check back on my pot, right? And remember, I don't add any water. It's springing its own water. <laughs> All right, so. Let me get this spoon. All right, so. Look at that. That is what it looks like. You see that? It's melting down right now, so I'm going to turn. You see? It's So at this stage, this is the time you want to add some water because it's, you see it's gonna it's kind of drying down. Trust me, guys. You follow this step right here that I'm doing to make this Jamaican curry chicken, and you have yourself a nice, delicious curry. Zoom. I want you to come and get a zoom in there for look at that you see so when it's dried on to this little bit amount now you know you could go ahead and add some water i'm using some hot water right if you don't have any hot water you could go ahead and add some cold water you do the work just still but i like to add just a little hot water right so the process of the cooking continue we don't delay okay all right so guys if you notice i don't um add a lot of water notice right you don't want to add too much water you make it the season you know make the season remain in the chicken you add it portion by portion okay so we're gonna leave it and let it continue to cook okay all right guys so we're gonna check back on our pot just like that 
We used to take this thing on net done, all right? Just in time. Just right now. You see that? All right, before we add any more water, we're gonna, we're gonna test, we're gonna test the chicken to see how far um, along it is, the cooking process, okay? All right, so, if you notice, all right, so you need to cook now, guys. But you need a little more water. This is gonna be the last set of water I'm gonna add. And that's it. So what I'm gonna add now, I'm gonna add the final seasoning of the pot right now. And here I have some carrot and Irish. I'm gonna add them at this time. Alright. And then we're gonna add some natural herbs. Just to give this a little cook. Make it cook ahead a little before we add the others, okay? Cooking you a nice curry chicken, guys. Jamaican curry chicken. Remember, remember to do it this way that I'm doing, and you get yourself a nice Jamaican curry chicken, guys. Follow the procedure. All right, all right, guys. So the final season of the final final season of. After you see me add my carrot and my Irish, I let it cook like for two minutes ahead, right? And now I'm gonna add the natural herbs, okay? All right, and this is gonna melt down. So guys, we have here bell pepper, which is sweet pepper, we call it in Jamaica. Some pimento green, tomato, scallion and thyme, um, garlic, onion, and I have a piece of ginger, flavor the pot. Yes guys, that's how I do my curry chicken, all right? Final seasoning that is. And let everything blend in, alright? Well, let's test the pot now, guys, to see if it wants anything like, you know, like um, additional seasoning. Okay. So let me taste it. Oh. All right, so. <clears throat> what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna add a little Maggi season up to give a little more flavor, All right? You don't want to season it too much with the, um, it's best to add than to take away when you're cooking okay all right so you don't want to add too much because when it melts down to the gravy that's the final tasting you know you don't want it to salt so all right all right good natural nice cooking guys Okay, perfect. All right, so that's it, guys. And you want to leave it, make it simmer down just like that. Gonna check on our pot now. This is the final process. Give you a look. Zoom in. This is what our curry chicken looks like. 
Let's put that down. Melt the here I have it. Curry chicken. Nice guys. Softly cook. You see that? Softly cook. You just fall apart like that off the bone. Jamaican curry chicken. Guys, there you have it. Jamaican curry chicken done on BLF TV. Remember to give this video a like, share, and do subscribe if you are not yet part of the family. Yes, guys, big up on yourself. Curry chicken. Boss lady Fiona, who that knocking at a window? Hey, two pattern knocks on your bingo. You know the style. Boss lady Fiona.